Hey everyone, today we'll be going over some backup power options for your grow space. Living in California, I've had plenty of blackouts in the past few years. And with the drop in backup battery prices, it's now really affordable to add a basic backup battery to your grow setup. And depending on the size of your grow space, you can even add things like solar panels to save on electrical costs. So let's start with the most basic option, which would be a UPS battery backup. These outlet strips have a battery built into them that will automatically power your electronics in the event of a power outage. They also sound an alarm to let you know that it's running off battery power. And because these were made to keep computers on until things can be saved, they typically don't last that long. For example, this UPS system has a battery capacity of 360 watts. And when plugged into a 2x4 setup like this, you'll be able to maintain everything for about an hour to an hour and a half, since these grow lights alone are using 200 watts of power every hour. Not great if you have a long power outage, but if you catch it early and dim your lights, you can probably stretch it for a couple more hours if needed as you figure stuff out. Something like this is also really affordable. At $60, this is only a little more expensive than a typical surge protector and provides a bunch of benefits that make it worthwhile for any small grow setup. You can also get larger battery versions of this for you know, two, three hundred dollars. But at that point, you might want to consider the next option, which is what I've been using more often, a solar generator. And these are a step up because not only can it do everything the typical UPS system can do, but the options between solar generators allow you to choose between pretty much any size battery you need to keep a grow powered from hours to days. And they also allow solar charging, so you can connect them to solar panels, which effectively allows you to extend the battery life even longer. Or if you want to go crazy with it, you can even go completely off grid with enough panels and batteries. So I have two examples of this. This is my first setup powered by a solar generator, which is able to hold a thousand watts. And that's enough to power this small grow setup for about a day. When connected with 200 watts of solar panels, it's pretty much completely self-sufficient. And I have it set up with the power plugged in as a backup, which will top off the battery every day between 7 to 12 p.m. just in case it was a rainy or cloudy day. Adding on the solar panels was pretty expensive though, with this Jackery battery being $400 and 200 watt panels being another $400 during the last sale. So given that it's generating about one kilowatt of power each day, it's going to take around four years of continuous use to make my money back on the solar panels. What I learned from this though, was that if I went with a more traditional solar panel, like the ones you see on roofs, they're insanely cheap used because they last way longer than a lot of roofs do. So when I put together this larger solar generator for my off-grid shed, which is able to hold 12,000 watts, I looked around Facebook Marketplace and local eBay listings to get these eight used 235 watt solar panels for under $200. I had to buy LaFleur mounting hardware for them, which hilariously was like double the cost of the panels themselves. And now at $600 for the panels, I'm able to generate like 10 kilowatts of power a day with these, which means that if I can use all the power generated each day, I'll make back the cost of these panels and mounting brackets in less than a year. As for the batteries themselves, 12 kilowatts means that I can power a large grow tent setup for about a day or two, although the cost of this isn't cheap. This Blue Yeti modular system, which has a 3000 watt inverter and four 3 kilowatt batteries attached to it, cost about $5,000 refurbished. Definitely overkill for most people, but since this shed has no other power source, I needed to max it out. You can always use less batteries, which will bring down the cost significantly. And again, this is the reason why I like solar generators so much 
because you can add on solar panels, which not only extend your battery capacity by charging it even while it's in use, but over a period of time, the solar panels just pay for themselves. And then it's free electricity after that. Now, I know I glossed over a lot of things in regards to these setups, so I'll make a more detailed video of each of these backup battery options. But this sort of covers the range of what's available on the market today and at what price points. So for today, that's it.